welcome to the Wisdom Inspired Talk podcast. Thank you for joining me today. I am Yomi Akipelu, your wisdom coach, speaker, teacher, and author of Blow the Cup of Your Capability and other books. In this podcast, we will learn from the wisdom of wise men and women from ancient and contemporary times. We will glean wisdom from books, biographies, teachings, quotes, and sayings of sages through the ages. So let's dive right in. Today, we'll be speaking about significance. Let's start with a quote and a story. John Maxwell said, success is when I add value to myself. Significance is when I add value to others. Now for the story. Alfred Nobel was a Swedish businessman, chemist, engineer, and inventor. He is well known for the Nobel Peace Prize. Nobel held 355 different patents, dynamite being the most famous. He was a weapons manufacturer. In 1888, Alfred's brother Ludwig died. A French newspaper erroneously published Alfred's obituary instead of his brother's. It condemned him for profiting from the sales of arms, stating, The merchant of death is dead. Dr. Alfred Nobel, who became rich by finding ways to kill more people faster than ever before, died yesterday, the paper stated. After reading his premature obituary, Alfred was devastated by the foretaste of how he would be remembered. His last will and testament set aside the bulk of his estate to establish the Nobel Prizes. He gave the equivalent of 250 million US dollars to fund such prizes. What a rare opportunity. Alfred Nobel had the opportunity to evaluate his life near its end and lived long enough to change that evil legacy. What will your legacy be? What will people say or write about you when you're gone? How can you make a real difference in the lives of others beginning from today? How can your life bring blessing to other people? How can you change the world for the better? Three of the titans who built America were Cornelius Vanderbilt, a shipping and railroad tycoon, self-made multimillionaire, and one of the wealthiest Americans of the 19th century. Andrew Carnegie, who amassed a fortune in the steel industry, he later sold his company to JP Morgan for hundreds of millions of dollars. And John D. Rockefeller, an American business magnate, widely considered the wealthiest American of all time and the richest person in modern history. In addition to being one of the wealthiest men in America, these men were philanthropists. After attending Vanderbilt's funeral, Carnegie and Rockefeller spent the rest of their lives seeing how much money they could give away to do good. Carnegie gave away the bulk of his money devoted to the, the remainder of his life to large-scale philanthropy with special emphasis on local libraries, education, scientific research, and so on. Rockefeller, on the other hand, donated more than half a billion dollars to various educational, religious, and scientific courses. So, the challenge to you is this. After you achieve great wealth, you can go higher by simply giving it all away. Change levels from wealth to significance. This is what it means to really live. Make the millions and use it to make the lives of others better. Bill and Melinda Gates established the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation the largest private charitable foundation in the world, which has a focus on global health and poverty. It gives billions away to worthy causes, 
Other philanthropists include Warren Buffett, Oprah Winfrey, and Mike Zuckerberg. These men and women have changed the lives of multitudes through their charitable work and giving. They have moved beyond wealth to significance. You can really make a significant contribution in the world by helping to eradicate global problems, which include extreme poverty, as a result of which thousands of children die each day, preventable diseases, millions die of diseases for which we have a relatively easy cure, the need for universal primary education, almost 1 billion people are unable to read, and the need for worldwide water sanitation, which could be funded by the amount of money that Europeans spend on ice cream every year. You don't have to be a millionaire or billionaire to be significant. Mother Teresa wasn't wealthy, but she blessed humanity, particularly the poor and the downtrodden and needy. So, how can you make a real difference in the lives of others, beginning from today? How can your life bring blessing to other people? How can you change the world for the better? How can you live a life of significance? These are a few examples or suggestions of what you might think about. You could buy food for starving orphans. You could fund shelters for the homeless after an earthquake. You can send doctors and medicine to Central America. You can rescue children out of sex trafficking. You can dig wells and build churches in India. You can fund research for preventable diseases, build schools and feed the poor in villages in Africa. You can be a volunteer, you can be a fundraiser. You can give your time and energy to those in prisons, in hospices, in nursing homes. You can make a difference. The opportunities to be significant and to live a life of significance are practically endless. So decide today, make a difference in the life of somebody. Live a life of significance. And that is all for today. Until next time, keep on growing in wisdom and maturity. Blow the cup of your capability. Be unstoppable. Be awesome. I'm cheering you on.